All right, we're going to be testing the crossing signals. I have someone on the train that's going to activate them using the remote.
Now, if you can't get the light straight, I mean, you push it out, you're fine. Just make sure that the wire is not in the way. Today we made a couple adjustments to the LED right here. The LED was adjusted and a new lens was placed on the front of it as the previous one was really scratched up. And I just got yet another project started with another gateless signal. It is this one right here. It's going to have a Modern Industries mechanical bell. That one there has to get repaired and restored before I can reuse it. It's got a Safetran two-way light manifold. I'll be using the two silver ones right there and there. I will not be using the Wabco extension arm or the other Wabco support arm. And right down there is the Cerami signal base. And the safe train one I decided to install on this signal. Partially because the signal base had two extra terminals on it. So I could add the switch onto the signal. Which it will not be tapped on with screws. I want to keep this signal original. So I'm going to get some U-bolts and two sign brackets, put a box down at the bottom, and a switch so anyone at the museum who wants to activate the signal can. And here's the Safetran mechanical bell, the Safetran 8-inch lights with a Safetran 4-way light manifold, and of course the Safetran signal base. And the other signal I plan on installing elsewhere, not at this crossing setup. And I scrapped the idea of making a miniature pedestrian signal, partially because I had to use the signal base on the signal right here that'll be installed next week. But this other mast here was still in good shape, so I decided to make another full gateless signal instead of a really small pedestrian signal. So after this signal gets installed, I'm going to find yet another spot for another signal. And changes will be made to that signal before it gets set up for sure, because I still have to get better lights for it or back plates for those lights. And that signal there will be incandescent like this one. Uh, I'm trying to keep the incandescent look for some of the signals here at the museum. 
This one here had to be upgraded because it already had LEDs in it and it had no incandescent components such as the mirrors and the support for the incandescent light bulbs or the red lenses on the outside. So I was not able to have those incandescent. And the other signal has not changed practically since I installed it. And this one here has got, undergone a bunch of changes, including the safe chain mechanical bell up top is now removed and on that signal. And now I'm going to activate the signals.